Many communities are heading back to school today, and one local woman wants schools to be prepared for the unthinkable. She's handing out Stop the Bleed kits aimed at saving lives in a mass shooting situation. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter has the details on what these kits contain and what schools already have them. Well, the work woman says she is taking matters into her own hands. The former school teacher and grandmother says she wanted to do something to help local schools after seeing those back to back mass shootings. So she called up schools and got to work. Now, Betty Gordon has two grandchildren in work schools, and she says she wanted to protect them and other kids. So she has been using her own money to, to purchase the Stop the Bleed kits online. And so far, she has worked together with principals and handed them out to two local schools, St. Rose of Lima and Tollgate High School. The kits include items like tourniquets, emergency bandages, and gauze. Now, according to Stop the Bleed, a person who is bleeding can die from blood loss within five minutes. Well, after uh, the Parkland shooting, after the recent shootings that we've been seeing and reading about, seeing on TV, I, it forced me to really think about this and to think that if there's any way that I can help in any small way, I'd like to do it. I mean, I can't be an EMT. I'm not, I'm not too old to work in the schools anymore, but at least I can pass these on and the people who are able to do this will have these kits. Now, according to the Department of Homeland Security, Stop the Bleed was started by the White House in 2015 to encourage bystanders to become trained to help in an emergency before professional help arrives. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News. And our in-depth coverage of this story continues online on WDPRI.com. Right now, you can see Courtney's interview in its entirety. Plus, find out who Gordon has been in talks with to help get the kits to more schools across the ocean state. It's all on WDPRI.com and the WDPRI 12 News app.